came here as a young PhD student with my advisor, Ira Berlin, because he had a project, the Freedom Southern Society project. And um, I thought I was preparing myself to become a history professor in the, in the academy, but since I'm a student of history and I have a passion for this stuff and working with historical records, you know, I realized that I was in the guts of the nation's history, and particularly African American history from the federal perspective. So uh, I decided to stay here and cast my career with the National Archives. But I'm also an adjunct. I teach one class at Howard University. So I sort of enjoy the best of two worlds. I, I really believe the document reveals the significance of the American Civil War. I believe that the American Civil War was the greatest social event in the history of this country. And the reason why I say that is because the Confederacy was truly a threat to the dis dissolution of the Union and the breaking of the Constitution. And the underlying cause of that was slavery. This country was split down the middle, uh, free labor and slave labor. And there were also moral, religious, and spiritual resistance to the institution. It was an inhumane institution. And there were many in the country who felt that it was an economically backwards institution. And by the 1850s and 60s, it had become an eyesore for the United States. When the war finally comes, very few understood the dynamic that slavery would have on the war because no one considered the, the interaction of slaves with the war, the Union Army, the Confederate Army. And once those slaves began to move and move towards the federal government and the Union Army, it really changed the whole dynamic of the war. The document signaled the entrance of a new freedom, uh, a new nation, a new government to a large extent, because Reconstruction brought about uh, constitutional changes that protected the rights of f over four million new people to the nation uh, coming out of uh, a system, slavery, that had denied them rights for over 200 years. There's been some physical damage done to this copy, but we've sort of cleared that up and the preservation efforts have worked well. It's well protected here in the archives because we keep it in a, a temperature control, humidity control, uh, cool, very very little light in, in a vault. And we bring it out, like I said, once a year now. Uh, it's exposed to light for a short period of time. All of the critical documents, important documents too, such as the Charter of Freedom, this is a document that the conservators keep an eye on. Uh, the, here again, the idea is we, we want to preserve these documents for the next generation of Americans, the next hundred, 150, 200 years, you know, however long the country's going to be here.